What's up, how's it going? This is gonna be a review of the Oakley extractor bag and then some little odds and ends that I put in my Oakley extractor bag. I know it's 2019, this is a 2014 bag, but whatever, I'm gonna check it out. Thanks. All right, so I'm back in. This, I, well, I just recently got a, uh, I know, again, I'm gonna remind you, it's 2019. Recently bought a Sony a6000 camera, and I'm a huge bag fan. Like, I just, I have a lot of different bags. I love backpacks. Uh, I'm constantly watching for new variations and new variables and backpacks and stuff. Um, I know what I like. So, uh, you know, I, I go with a lot of different companies for a lot of different things that I might be using everyday carry, trips, uh, you know, mission specific type stuff like going out with, uh, with a camera and filming and stuff. You know, I also have a everyday carry type backpack that I can also put my camera in and work with it. Uh, but this one's gonna be specific for me if I'm going somewhere like say Disney or a park or whatever um, and, I, and I wanna do some photography in the park and I wanna take my, uh, my new camera. Uh, with me. I'm gonna carry it like this. It's, it's a little smaller, uh, not as cumbersome getting in and out of rides and stuff like that. Um, you know, also gonna bring it on some trips with me and uh, you know, see what I can do. But uh, one of the things that I wanted to be able to do was have a, a sling bag that I could bring around in front of me and take out my camera, take some pictures, put it back in, sling it back towards the back. Um, so I did a couple couple hours, couple days of research after I bought the camera uh, just to see what was good and uh, I kind of took a liking to this Oakley bag. So I'm going to show you some of the basic stuff. There's some good reviews already out there on YouTube about the Oakley extractor bag, um, but I might as well show you what's in this one if it's the first time you've seen it. So it's Oakley extractor bag, it's a sling bag, it is a, um, I believe it's a 12 liter bag, uh, 14 inches tall eight inches wide, and then as you can see here, it's gonna be eight inches in depth uh, in a couple areas. Up here, you're not really gonna get a full eight inches, so um, this area is about uh, 11 to 12 inches of a full eight inch depth, uh, and then the rest of it kind of curves in. Um, it's a clamshell type design where you can fully open it, lay it out flat. It's filled with mesh over here, uh, zipper mesh, then there's a sunglass uh, line, you know, a nice kind of fiber line. Uh, keep your sunglasses from getting scratched. It's an Oakley bag, so they're gonna take care of their sunglasses inside of it. So um, it, it came with this stuff, and when it comes, when I'm gonna talk about like what I use mine for, um, I took this out. It's a small pouch that if you were going to use this as like an everyday carry type bag or something like that, you can put some, some gear in there, but I'm not using it. Took it out. All right, this other thing, this thing here is, it's, it's got molly, it's got some molly webbing on it. I, I'm not even gonna do a close up of it because I feel that it's useless. Um, it's, it has regular molly strap on the front of it. Then behind it, there's a um, sort of elastic that I've seen on some reviews they thought you could put a uh, like an AR-15 magazine in there. Um, I don't know what AR-15 magazine they're using, but uh, there's absolutely no way, I can't even get my finger all the way through it, that I'm gonna fit an AR-15 mag in there. Maybe just mine was uh, stitched wrong, um, thank you China, but whatever. I'm not gonna use this thing, um, so it, it's gone to me. The molly on the front is probably their best stitched molly that they have on this entire bag. So I wouldn't really call this like a Oakley mil spec bag, even though you have an opportunity to buy it on Oakley Standard Issue, their military and first responder page. Um, but yeah, this thing is gone. So the back of it, or the inside, the backing has full mesh, which I'm totally cool with because I'm a morale patch kind of guy. I'm gonna throw morale patches on. Um, there's a morale patch section up on the, the front, on the outside exterior, you can put a couple uh, morale patches. So there's some of mine, uh, just took them off of one of my other bags so I could throw them on this because I like to decorate them. Inside here has a, a small section of really heavy duty um, Velcro. As you can see, it makes it a little tough to, to rip it open. Um, you can put a, uh, 
iPad mini in here, um, tablet, maybe some other stove stuff. I'm not gonna stow my, uh, like a handgun or anything like that in there. Um, although you probably could, maybe a Glock 43, Glock 42, um, you know, shield or something like that in there. But for me, the way that I've been using this for the past few weeks, um, I use it in the closed fashion and empty fashion. There's nothing inside of it. So I'm really just using this bag uh, for that photography stuff and I'm gonna show you in a second after I, after I finish running through this. Out here on the outside, you have interchangeable clip for the sling, whether you're gonna put it on right-handed, left-handed, right side of your body, left side of your body. You can switch the clip back and forth. There's also an adjustable uh, waist strap that's gonna come around the waist to give you a nice uh, kind of triangle formation. I'm gonna, at this point, I'm gonna bring the camera down a little lower and show you um, a little more close up on some of this stuff that I actually like on the outside of this bag. All right, one of the things I really enjoy about this bag um, is the back. The back has just this, you know, basic kind of padding with some venting and stuff. So when it's on your back, you can dissipate a little bit of heat. Um, personal choice, but one of the things that I don't like about uh, a lot of backpacks and stuff, they talk about air cool and everything like that. They, they put this kind of mesh on the back side over top of the padding. When it's on your back and your back's kind of sweating a little bit, FYI, I live in Florida, um, but when you're out traveling and you're moving and stuff like that and you got something on your back, you're, you're gonna sweat one way or the other or, and it's gonna come through. But when it's got this stuff on there, it grabs the back of your shirt and it, and it kind of causes it to pill up and um, sort of start to ruin your shirt. Uh, I had it happen on a couple trips with a couple bags that I had and, you know, started really looking for stuff that had just a, just a a sealed type back and not this mesh stuff uh, on the back. So a little thing about me and a little thing about the way I look at and approach um, a backpack when I'm looking at it. Um, over here on the side, there's gonna be a, um, you know, what would be on most backpacks, so a water bottle pocket. This is just gonna be really a stove type pocket because my hand is, you know, in there, but you're gonna fit just a, a small average water bottle, nothing, um, you know, no kind of a, a camelback or nice uh, heavy duty water bottle uh, in there. So you might fit a, just a generic plastic water bottle in there and that's gonna be about it. Um, over here with these mollies, they're, um, they're crap because if you could see, I'm barely getting my finger in there. You're not gonna get a, uh, a molly that uh, you know, on the exterior pouch where that pouch uh, has maybe a button snap closure to it when you pass through, uh, when you pass the molly through there, um, the strap, you're not even going to get the button through there, let alone the entire full strap. It's going to bend the strap and uh, it's not going to go on cleanly. So yeah, my, my opinion on this, this is just going to be for lashing stuff down or maybe a carabiner or something like that so that you can, uh, you know, hang something off of there or lash it down with some paracord or something. It's going to be about it. Um, top of your strap, it's, uh, it's doing good things. It's got some more uh, I'm gonna call them fake molly from here on out. It's not really good molly. Uh, you're not passing anything through here except maybe some paracord. I can barely get my fingernail, uh, I can barely get fingernail deep in there. So, um, you know, paracord or something like that going through there, it's gonna be about all you're gonna get. Uh, good D-ring, that's gonna, that's gonna be good if you wanna clip something, you know, a lens or a water bottle on there. Um, another little, you know, kind of strap, not, although not elastic, so it's not gonna expand at all. I'm uh, not going to get much through there. Uh, and then these laser cut, um, what usually would go as sort of like a, a laser cut molly, it's it's still really tight and you're not getting much pass through there. You know, good sturdy clip, you know, clip's going to work, it's going to pass. Up here, they've got two different types of uh, hangs, just a, a generic you know, loop hang like a lot of regular backpacks and then up on the front so when it's closed they have an actual grab handle so you can go for a full grab if you want. You know, this little guy that I got here, this is a hero clip. Check them out. I'll throw a link in the description. It's a pretty awesome way to uh, bring your stuff. It's got a carabiner clip and it comes out with a nice hook that spins as well. You can hook it into a tree if you need to hang your gear bag. You don't want to put it in the ground and stuff like that. Uh, so hero clip, check them out. Not a sponsored video, of course, because 
I'm brand new, so no sponsorships. So, all right, we're going to uh, let's back it out and we'll take a look at the bag with uh, the gear that I want to put in it. All right, so here you have the gear that I carry in this. Really just, you know, some of the essentials. Uh, I don't even need it that much because uh, I'm using my iPhone X a lot for most of the stuff I do. But I got my iPad mini uh, just in case I need it. Um, Sony A6000, not a brand new camera, but a really good camera for, um, you know, being on the move, takes amazing pictures. Uh, and real cost effective. I bought it on offer up for $420 uh, with the regular kit lens and then the second kit lens that goes up to 210. So I'm um, enjoying, enjoying the use of the camera so far. Like I said, it's only been uh, a few weeks. I bought it in December and it's now January of 2019. Uh, a couple extra batteries, uh, filters, uh, extra caps for the lenses in case one of them drops. Amazon's always good for some extra spare caps. And then uh, a little you know, sensor cleaning kit and stuff so I can uh, make sure there's no dust because I've already had some dust fall in there so I can blow it out and clean it out. And then the uh, most important, a uh, padded organizer. Um, bought it off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, what I did was I looked at the measurements of the bag, looked at the measurements of this insert, didn't even think about that. I was just looking at camera bags, but this thing lets you pretty much turn any bag into a camera bag, if it's not already a camera bag. And I went with the orange, that way you had a good contrast between all this dark gear and the dark bag. The orange will contrast, I can see better if I wanna pull the camera out real quick for something. So I'm gonna pack this all in here, kinda of show you, hey, you know what, let's, let's pack it now. So the bag zipped up, zips up real easy. These zippers pass all the way around, but for the way that I use it, I keep the zippers only on the one side. Um, a good solution that if you're gonna use this bag and go with this style to prevent this one of these zippers from traveling all the way around um, when your bag is filled uh, and then causing your stuff to spill out, throw a little safety pin in there on the one side of the zipper and then it'll cause a stopper and stuff like that. Just a little, just a little tip. So it it loads or I load it and keep it all loaded so that when I when I swing it down. All the stuff comes out of this one side. So, fill it up here. This insert guy fits perfect here. Quick note, I've practiced this. I've taken my Mavic Air in its case, thrown my Mavic Air in here, controller in here on this, uh, this other extra space, and, uh, and the extra two batteries. So then I've got three batteries for my Magic Air, or Mavic Air and uh, in the Mavic Air with controller, I can go out with that too. So if I wanna go on some little mission, I got my um, camera ready to go and I got the Mavic ready to go um, all together and inside this one bag. Uh, no real extra space for anything else. I'm not packing my lunch, but it's what I can put in here. All right, I brought the camera in a little closer. That way, um, you know, you can kind of see what I'm, what I'm working with here. Uh, this does have a drawstring closure to make it a little, uh, to tighten it up in case your bag does come open, the stuff will stay within this insert. So I, I made the insert so that there's a nice long one protecting the camera, putting that right down in there. Then we have, we'll go with the lens cleaner. Drop it right down in there. Always good. It does come with a carabiner so I could clip it outside. Don't really want to. Uh, your your filters and stuff. Nice little short, small um, setup right in there. These are all modular, so you can remove them. Made with Velcro, or you know, Velcro on the outside. Very nice and soft on the inside. Uh, you can move them all around. Uh, however you see fit to do it. This is really how I'm doing it. So there's my 210 lens. I'm gonna go right in there, nice and snug. One, the other sets of caps, just kind of slide down in this opening that I created there. The uh, iPad mini, slid it right in the back. Again, not using the actual um, pocket that was made for it, it just slides right there in the back. Because this uh, insert fits pretty perfectly inside the bag. It's the right size for it. 
Um, it'll, it presses that iPad mini right in there, nice and tight. Uh, doesn't even slide out, I don't even really even notice it there. So inside this, I already have it open because I took the batteries out. This is where my spare batteries go, ready for me to pull those out in case I need. And then, as I was saying before, if you want, right there. So if this thing does happen to fall out of the bag, the bag comes zipping open, I haven't done the safety pin trick, the, uh, it's, it's, it's all kind of tightened up in there. So it's, it's not gonna get too much damage if it bounces out. This top part is not padded, but it, it's, it's gonna keep it pretty safe. Everything else in that insert is all padded. Um, just what you want for, you know, to protect that camera gear. And then zip this bad boy up. Then there you have it, your two poles, nice little rubber uh, addition so you can pull them real quick. Um, and then there you have it. It's all set up inside there, contained, not too bulgy. Doesn't, it's not putting any stress on the zippers. Um, the zippers are all doing well. Uh, Pretty good, I enjoy it. So I'll show you in a second how I uh, load it up and wear it. All right, so here we are. Just for reference and stuff like that, I'm a six foot tall, 215 pound man, uh, you know, about a, a 46 jacket size. So for some of you that might be comparing that are watching this, not a tiny guy, um, but one of the things that I did see about this bag when I was looking over the reviews, it is, the, the strap is done all the way to the end. There's no extra tightening it down if you're a man that's bigger than me. So you're gonna see how tight it is on me. Uh, it's not uncomfortable, it works perfect for me. But if I put on a little more weight, started doing some uh, bench presses and the chest got bigger, it's really not gonna fit me uh, like I want. So uh, if you're a smaller guy, Go for it. It's gonna fit you just fine. So it's definitely not made for uh, for you know big man, not big man certified. One of the things that I'm happy with as far as a sling bag, some sling bags for me, if I wear it on my back, they slide down and around um, over to my side. Uh, not huge on that. I don't want everything over on my side. I want it on my back. So this guy goes right here on my back. It stays there pretty firm because the, the back piece of the, the backpack is, you know, has some rigidity to it. There's no sort of uh, hard form factor, but it is pretty rigid. And so it'll hold its shape, especially because I have it packed out tight. Um, so the, it does come with that side sling or the, 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 the cross strap, but again, 36 inch waist, 46 inch chest, I'm not really comfortably wearing it like this, you know? And then I've got kind of like a man bra thing going on. I'm not a huge fan of that. It works fine without it. I don't need this. So I only leave it on or left it on so I can show you in the review. Uh, otherwise, when I'm done with this review, I'm gonna take it back off. Um, this part comes off, it's nice. It does have elastic, so it does stretch, but again, you see me out in the field, this is how I'm rocking this. I'm wearing the bag just like that, perfectly fine. So you wanna pull this out, I'm pulling it from this side. Cameraman, pulling that out. And on, ready to go. I got a nice cool rest for my arms, keep it nice and tight. Give me a little more stability if I don't, if I'm not using a tripod, of course. So you want a, some stability, some night shooting or something like that. You're ready to go. You have all your stuff right here. If I want to change my lens, change my lens. I've got kind of like a nice table right here strapped to me that if I want to lay something down, maneuver it, I want to pull out the cleaner, clean, change the lens out, put it on, I can. So I'm, I'm real happy about this bag for the purpose that I'm using it for. Uh, it may not be for everybody. I know that for a fact. I watch a lot of product reviews. Um, so this is, I wanted to show you this bag used for this purpose and um, hopefully you enjoy it. Oh, let me talk about these. These little Molly guys here, again, nothing I'm probably gonna use. 
there's there's enough space, yeah, for me to put my finger through there. Uh, maybe I could lash something down. But again, with this bag, uh, for how I'm putting it out, it's not really how I want to use or use it. So these ones you probably could put another attachment. Maybe if I wanted to put an extra bag here or something, you know, like the drone or something like that. If I wanted to add some extra stuff for the drone, I could put one of those extra zipper pouches. This. These would work. It would fit here. Um, they would attach here on this Molly. So it's kind of a, a different idea if you wanted to add a little bit more space to this and expand it. Um, but for me right now, I'm not going to. If I do, maybe I'll update this video and add some add it to it and show you. But as of right now, I'm not. So hope you enjoy it. Hopefully this uh, video was short enough and you can, um, it'll help you make a decision hopefully. And, um, you know, good luck. Take some good pictures, get out there and enjoy the earth. So, uh, from, from here on out, my name's Justin. Uh, hopefully we'll have some more for you, uh, some other product reviews. I do like to, to help people out by showing people this stuff because I know everybody on YouTube is helping me out by showing their own product reviews and what they think of some stuff. So, we'll see if we can get you some more stuff later. Thanks. Bye.